in this lesson we're going to learn all about servo motors. Uh, they're basically just motors with a few doodads added on to it. When choosing a servo, you should keep three factors in mind. The first one is speed. And, and usually a servo is rated on the amount of time it takes for the servo's arm to go 60 degrees. Um, and it's usually a fraction of a second. The, um, the second factor is power, which is like torque or the strength of its movement. Uh, and that is rated on ounce inches. And um, the way it, they measure it is if you have a one inch servo arm, um, it, it should be able to lift 16 ounces at that rating. The third thing is, is how much rotation. Um, servos typically do not have 100 or 360 degree rotation. They, um, uh, some of them have a more limited range. So if you think you're only going to need 180 degrees or even smaller, then keep that in mind when choosing which servo to buy. Uh, the servo we're using in this lesson is the HS322HD um, and um, it has 51, 51 ounce inches and the speed is 0 0.15 seconds for 60 degrees and it has 180 degree rotation. We're going to use an Arduino, a breadboard, an HS322HD servo made by Hi-Tech, and some jumpers. If you want to use a different servo, it will probably work just as well. Okay, so here's a servo. Uh, it has a little piece of tape on it so you can see when it's turning. Um, and inside this black box, there's a little electric motor and also a nice gearbox that sets the the torque a certain way. And then um, there are three wires coming from it. Black is ground, red is power, uh, 5 volts for this servo. And then yellow sends data back from the servo to the Arduino. And the way it does it is on the motor there is what is called an encoder which um, always knows what direction the motor's hub is turned and it uh, and sends that back along the yellow wire so um, that way the Arduino knows to stop it when it gets to a certain point or to keep it rotating a certain number of times precisely okay now let's wire it up it's pretty simple Just plug it into the breadboard. The red is in the middle, and that goes to 5 volts on your Arduino. Um, the black, as I mentioned, is ground, and that just goes into one of the ground pins. And then yellow is data, and that goes into nine. There you go. Okay, now we're going to wire up the servo. It's pretty easy. Just plug the the leads into the breadboard. Plug uh, connect yellow to digital 9 as your data. Red, which is in the middle, goes to 5 volts. And black, which is on the end, Okay, let's uh, write a sketch to control our servo. Okay. Well, every Arduino comes with the library servo. So let's open up Sweep and take a look at it. <clears throat> As you can see, there's the servo library here. 
um, it's creating a servo instance. It's setting up a variable to be um, zero. That's just a default value. And then this this um, sends the sends the servo's arm 180 degrees and then back again. So let's upload it. Okay, as you can see, it worked. The servo's arm is rotating 180 degrees. Okay, now that we've had a demo, let's check out a couple of factors that I want you to look at and keep in mind because we're going to play around with them and see what effect it has on the servo. The first one is this POS, um, the servo's position. Um, it, it defaults at zero. However, it can be modified later in the code. What if we um, change this my servo servo dot write parentheses pos close parentheses semicolon um, instead of pos it was a number. We'll try that out. And also, what's up with this delay? What what would happen if we changed the delay? All right, let's check it out. Okay, I changed the delay on one direction of the servo arms travel to a hundred. And you can see it's going very slowly, but watch as it reaches the end and goes back at the previous speed. Now I'm going to try something different. This time I changed it so it just went to position 100 and then waited one tenth of a second and then went to position negative 100 and then waited for a tenth of a second. So it gives it kind of more of a waggly thing. That's it for lesson one. In lesson two, we're going to check out stepper motors, which are a little different than servos. Thanks for watching.